this song was for those of you who felt like you've lost it all. We just want to let you know, God will restore. There is a reflection, May 31st, 2018. The Lord will maintain your cause. I know the Lord maintains the cause of the needy and executes justice for the poor. Psalm 140, verse 12. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. I remember using this quote a few times in my life. Whenever someone used words that would be considered hurtful, I would draw for this saying in an effort to soothe the pain of what was said or to convince myself I was not affected. As I grew older, I realized even more than before that words are hurtful, especially when they are fabricated. Psalm 140 is a prayer by David for protection against those who slandered and threatened him. In this psalm, David prays for deliverance from evil men, evil words, and evil plots. The composition of the psalm can be broken down accordingly. David prays for deliverance, verse 1 to 3. David prays for protection, verse 4 and 5. David seeks the Lord's help, verse 6 to 8. David prays about the wicked, verse 9 to 11. And David speaks confidently about God's victory over these slanderous men, verse 12 and 13. In our life, we will at some point or another experience slander. This is not an easy situation to deal with. Some slanderous comments are small scaled while others are on a much wider scale. The effects of slander is not unknown. We know what it entails. Sadness complete shutdown, ill health, restlessness, anger, suicidal thoughts. Those who slander others and speak ill of them are considered evil. Those who fabricate stories against others are evil. As we experience slander, we can draw on the examples of David to get us through. David prayed for deliverance. You can ask the Lord to deliver you from those who perpetuate a slander. A prayer for protection. It is only the Lord that can truly protect us. Seek the Lord's help. Can you seriously stop someone from speaking maliciously about you? It is the Lord's help that is needed to overcome such a challenge. Pray for your slanderers. Be forthright with the Lord about those who slander you. Pray about them. Be confident that the Lord will respond. Amidst all our prayers, we have to be confident that the Lord will maintain the cause of the needy and bring about justice. What sense does it make to pray if we do not believe the Lord will execute justice? David says, I know. Despite being slandered and plotted against, David knew God would defend him. David was confident, convinced, and certain that God would help him. He was also certain that God would maintain his cause. Slander can wear us down and cause us to feel dejected, demotivated, depressed, and deserted. But here is what David says. The Lord will maintain. So in other words, even when you feel deserted and alone, God is still working on your case to bring about justice. While others might have forgotten that you are being slandered, God has not. While you lie awake at night consumed by the thoughts of those who slander you, the Lord is already at work to bring about justice. You will be restored, for the Lord maintains your cause. Until next week, all good.
He's restoring you. He's restoring. Look at somebody, tell them you suffered long enough.